To use JAX RS to implement your RESTful web services, you can handle exceptions in multiple ways. You can handle your application exceptions like entity not found exception or your own exceptions that you create in your business or layer or even in your data access layer by simply wrapping it up or handling all those exceptions in your RESTful layer and throwing a web application exception which the JAX RS provides. You load that web application exception with a HTTP error status code. Or you can throw an appropriate exception like not found exception etc. which are out there for every HTTP status code that are JAX RS API defines several different exceptions which you can throw. But as the application grows in size, it becomes tedious for us to handle all the exceptions that come from the layers below in our RESTful layer and to handle them in every point of our code. Instead of that, JAX RS provides us with beautiful mappers which once we write and uh, register them with the JAX RS provider like Jersey or Apache CXF, they will handle all the exceptions for us and send the appropriate error, HTTP error response back to the client of our RESTful service. Here is how we can write our mapper class. For each exception, we will be writing a mapper. We mark the mapper class with a provider marker or annotation which tells the JAX RS implementation like Apache CXF or JRC that this particular component is a exception mapper or this is a restful component which is an excep uh, exception mapper. And our exception mapper in my case server exception mapper should implement this generic interface and we need to pass it the generic type which is nothing but the exception we want to handle. In my case I am handling a server exception which is an internal application exception. You can have handle entity not found exception, entity exists exception or any other business exception of your own. You just define it here inside this as a generic type for exception mapper and you override the method called to response which returns a response object in the JAX RS API. Here I am handling my server exception. So the JAX RS container like Apache CXF when a server exception is thrown will call my mapper by looking at this and then it will use this method to build the actual response that should go back to the client. So the parameter for this is server exception inside which I am building the HTTP error response which is response dot status. So the JAX RS API also provides us with classes which are very useful to build the response. Response dot status and then the HTTP error code for internal server error is 500 so it has a constant defined I'm just using it to build the response object. You, similarly you can build different uh, exception or HTTP error codes like 404, 400, 506 or whatever you feel is appropriate. To summarize, handling exceptions using JAX RS when, while you are implementing your RESTful services becomes tedious as your application size grows. So instead of handling each exception and then throwing a web application or exception or a different HTTP exception which JAX RS use, you can define a set of mappers for different exceptions your applications might throw at various points and the JAX RS containers like Apache CXF or JRC will call these mappers and the appropriate methods at runtime to build the or map the exceptions that are thrown by your applications into the HTTP error codes that should go back to the client. So the steps are mark your mapper with the add provider annotation and that marker class should implement an exception mapper interface. The generic type of it should be your actual exception, your business exception or it could be a third party exception which you want to handle. Then the, the two response object takes the argument, the argument it takes is your exception and in here you can use what comes out of that exception or simply map that exception to a HTTP response code that should go back which is appropriate.